Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flitter Mouse. We're going to try to make a stabilized wax lug by sticking a Q-tip in it while the wax is still hot. Now you're probably thinking, hey, you're putting it in the wrong end, you need to put it in the other end. But what happens when you shoot it, it's going to flip around and the Q-tip will create drag. So let's see how this works. Q-tip one, hit it. Now I made the Q-tips different lengths. This was the longest one, and honestly, I thought it would break off just from the, you know, going through the air at such a high velocity. But it did. It stayed together. They, most of the cotton stayed on the Q-tip. But really, all it did was just complicate things. It caused it to kind of yaw around a lot. Hey, short Q-tip, hit it! Man. Now this was a real short Q-tip, and you can see a neat trail of vapor coming off of it. That is a couple drops of oil that I put on the cotton. I just wanted to see what kind of effect the oil would have if it would leave a vapor trail like that, and it did. Pretty neat stuff. We got one with two Q-tips, a little bit of oil on them. I'm not sure what that'll do but maybe make the cotton a little stronger. Okay, double Q-tip, hit it. You clipped it, yeah. Even though a wax lug has the aerodynamics of a brick, they're still fairly accurate for an improvised round. They'll fly sideways, they'll tumble, they'll keyhole, but despite that, they are pretty accurate up to about 50 yards. That was a good hit. Here we're shooting a really beat up old AR500 armor plate. It doesn't have any coating on it anymore. And you can see how when the wax slug hits, the energy just blasts out in every direction. Hey, shorty Q-tip, hit it. <laughs> Here we're shooting a charred piece of wood and it really shows you how much energy transfer is going on when these wax slugs impact something. A wax slug doesn't penetrate very deeply, but once it goes in, it, it does exactly like it did on the AR-500 plate and blows outwards and really dumps the energy. The Q-tips didn't have a positive effect at all. If anything, they just complicated the aerodynamics and made them even wonkier. And finally, I wanted to let you know that my friend from Mountain Storm is once again producing these awesome safety shell cutters for making wax slugs. They allow you to quickly cut the crimp off the shell and what this does is leaves a little fold of plastic behind which locks the slug in the shell and prevents a dangerous situation where the slug can actually fall out of the shell and blow up the gun so it takes care of that. You know me if something is junk I'll let you know but when there's a good product out there I'll also let you know. Click on that link to find out more. Thank you.